so, that's the entirety of Area 7. Also, I had a Casio keyboard as a kid. I think it had like 28 keys on it or something like that, maybe like 34, somewhere in that range. And it had like 12 different instruments it could mimic on it, and it was amazing and I loved it. It also had a whole bunch of different uh, built-in rhythms on it. You know, you just hit one button and it plays a rhythm, and also awesome. Yeah, so, let's see, the final heart piece is literally in the final area thing we can do. We can go, actually we could have gone to get this in the middle of the Eagle Tower, but that would have been silly. We can now go grab... Well, we can go to the Seashell Manor, and that's not the way to the Seashell Manor. We can go along the path until we actually reach the Seashell Manor. Out of the way, out of the way. That's also not the path. This is the path. Let us go get a reward for collecting all the seashells. There is no actual reward for collecting all the seashells, as I've mentioned many, many times. We could have come here at any point from 20 and beyond. We get the level 2 sword, which apparently... Was that a thing that warriors would do, etch their names on their swords? Hm. Anyways... Yeah, level 2 sword. A proper Zelda sword. Fire sword beams when you were at full health. And possibly when not at full health. No! Has to be at full health. Okay. And I'm trying to think of other extras, and you know, there is literally just the one final piece of heart. And that will be uh, the thing that we get in the final dungeon. So, I will now put the question to the chat. Should we Iron Man it? I mean, literally the only two things left to do in this game are go through the um, final dungeon and then go through the uh, Windfish's Egg, which I am not calling a dungeon because that place is not a dungeon. <laughs> or should we say, go ahead and leave off, end here for the night, and uh, you know, when next we return, we beat this game once and for all. No, not likely for all. I will continue to play this game again every so often on my own. <laughs> so I friggin' love this game. So I went the wrong way, but that's okay. No, oh, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> First thing we can do, while the chat is making up its mind, let's go play the Windfish song! Let's use the ocarina so we can play the Windfish song. Let's not play Mambo's Mambo, we're gonna get it right one of these times.
And in that time, we got a grand total of three votes. Uh, two for Iron Man at... One for leave off. Um, if we can get another vote for Iron Man it or another vote for leave off, we will go that route, whichever route that happens to be. And while I wait, I will go ahead and get over to the next area. So that we can either carry on or, you know, be ready to just immediately pick up and go to the next dungeon. And we have a third vote for Iron Man. What are you saying ha huh, about, Beld? Right over here, where I started to go before, which uh, we can yeah, also while we're here, let's visit the rooster. Oh, well, no. The fact that you said opposite votes at the same time doesn't mean anything, because the vote wasn't tied. It was. Th oh, hey, I forgot. I completely forgot. Uh, Marion would be up here. And I don't know how she gets down from that bridge, because as we get into the next room, you'll see. Well, the next screen, I should say. I also have no idea how she made it to that piece of bridge in the middle there, but that is beside the point. <laughs> I suppose the two might be connected. Yeah, actually, I guess she could have gotten down there, and then that leads right back down there, which eventually leads back to Mabe Village. Wow, seven shots. I missed a lot of photographs. Like, I definitely remember the one at the beach that I forgot to get. I have no idea what these other ones are, and at this point, I don't really much care. We're just gonna carry on. Oh, yeah, she said that the monsters put her up there. I have no memory. But that's okay. That's why I have the chat. They are my, uh... <laughs> I, I would say they are my second memory, but really they are my memory, because I don't have one to begin with. Also, you're more or less guaranteed to take damage going through there unless you get insanely lucky. The uh, boulders appear at total random. And yeah, not on the screen. Right down here, we have the last... The last of these jerks. Or actually, not jerks at all, and they have the sort of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door-esque curses that are actually really, really beneficial. So we've already got the arrows and the bombs, so now we get the magic powder. Which only goes up to 40 instead of 60, but that's just because you're literally never gonna use 60 magic powder. Like, if you started with 60 magic powder, you should not run out of magic powder by the time you've beaten the game. It is needed that little. And I don't think there's anything over here, but I'm gonna- oh, right. Yeah, I'll get over there. Put that. 
think we would get past that anyways for later on reasons, but... Still. Oh, right, I forgot to get those other three pieces in the, uh, alternate route on the river raft ride. Oh well. Things we may or may not do later, because they literally have no bearing on anything. So, this is one of the things that I always skipped when I was a kid, because again, thanks to the, um, select warp glitch, you can just, um, walk over there and end up over here, and not have to deal with that stupid thing, so... Hell, if I wanted to, I could, um, <laughs> take care of Turtle Rock at any damn point in the game. Just sequence break the hell out of it, and have access to the final dungeon item way the hell early on in the game. And, yeah, it's still something down there. Hm. I guess I just never went in that direction. But that's okay. And, yeah, here is the second completely necessary point in the game. Which you have to use... The Frog Song of Soul. Don't get to hear it the whole, th the, the whole thing this time, though. Because we go immediately into battle with... The Dragon Turtle of Turtle Rock. <laughs> because level 2 sword combined with the red clothes... Um... Actually, hold on, hold on, I remember this, I remember this! Uh, where is it? Um, hmm. Must be in the actual... Uh, any roster, guardians... Turtle Rock! This is the actual full entry for Turtle Rock in the, um, Link's Awakening guidebook. After waking the rock, you must attack it with your, uh, using your sword. Hit it in the head when it extends its neck. It looks mean, but it's really a cream puff. Yeah, like, even if you don't have the level 2 sword, even if you don't have the red clothes, he's a pushover, like a complete and total pushover. Well, let's just shoot it with arrows, and we only have nine arrows, good lord. Hm. Yeah, he's kind of the red arima of the Zelda world here. Fortunately, an enemy that I do believe only shows up in this game. I recall the only thing up here is... Oh! Nope, I don't recall. There's a lot of stuff up here. Good stuff. Also, we will be seeing almost every single one of the uh, mini-bosses in this area. Let me count. Um, I do believe one, two... Yeah, um, basically... Uh, we won't see the Grim Creeper again, Armos Knight, Master Selfos, the Knight, the Desert Land Mola, uh, or the Goma, but we'll see every single other mini boss in this area. Also, one of my favorite puzzle types the move it over every block while only moving it over each block once puzzle type. No, oh, that's a thing we can't do yet. So I'm gonna go this way. Well, that was pointless, but, you know, we may as well try to max out our money before we get to the, um, you know, final finality. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in here, but... Just in 
Okay. Well, that works. Oh, well. Oh, right, uh, we don't have the, um, compass yet. So, I do believe we want to do that. Now yeah, we have our lovely compass. And that takes care of everything on that side of the map. Uh, Turtle Cave, uh, Turtle Rock, rather. We don't have the map yet, so I can't show it. It's divided, actually, into an area very much like this, right here. Shaped like a turtle. Hopefully not surprising, because literally every area so far has been, um... Has had a map that looks like what it is. The Key Cavern was a key. Tail Cave was a creature with a tail. Bottle Grotto was a bottle. Etc, etc. Okay. Don't need the fairies right now, but I also don't need bubbles hanging around. Let's see. Oh, okay, let's... There's a button. Probably right here. What do you know? Actually, I wonder. <laughs> okay, so either the level 2 sword or the um, red clothes, one of them allows us to kill those guys by sorting them from the front, which is not capable... Well, not, not, not a thing you are capable of doing with the regular level 1 sword. And I don't think this will get us anywhere that we can do anything from, but uh, let's just find out, just to be certain. Also, let me check. Nope! Not a thing. In some of the Zelda games, once you have the, uh, leveled up sword, you can then break bar uh, yeah, barrels, bottles with them. Also, Smasher! Also, totally forgot to mention, uh, Rolling Bones' name. I'm sure you can figure out which one he was. Also, I love Smasher just for that oh, oh, noise he makes. He's trying to be a seal or something. This is so cute. I mean, the creature itself isn't really that cute. It's kind of like a bottom-feeding fish, but, you know, cute noises make up for it. This is the... I forgot that door would lock. <laughs> this is the door that I cannot... Uh, this is the staircase. I can't do anything with. I will be blocked by... I don't want a piece of power, damn it. Okay. Let's just double check. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't look like that. There we go. Okay. Hmm, maybe I can get somewhere through here. <laughs> well, that's a good way of uh, looking at that. Smasher just wants to play catch with you. He's just... He's good at throwing, he's just not good at catching. Poor little guy. Alright, so... Shell. There we go. Map for us. So, yep, it's a turtle. And we still have all sorts of nonsense to go to, uh, actually, um, do anything. Like, we've explored, like, maybe a quarter of the map. 
Also, thankfully this is not one of those, uh, rooms that we have to hit all the spots in, because it would be literally impossible. So, you know, they didn't create any of that kind of nonsense. It's a good thing to go after. And by that I mean a dumb thing to go after. This, I think, is one of the things. These are ice blocks. We're gonna need something fiery to get through that. I mean, we have our torch that could do that. Well, we don't have a torch. We have magic powder. Never mind. Oh well. Magic powder, torch. It still lights things on fire. This way, pin.